Windows has loads of keyboard shortcuts that you can actually use to save you time. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you my top five that will save you so much time, you will think, actually, I'm going back in time, like a Time Lord is starry. <laughs> Let's check this out. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. If this is the first time I'm meeting, I'm Dr. Gandalf of EGP Learning, where I look at supporting you with technology-enhanced primary care and learning. And in this episode, I'm going to show you amazing keyboard shortcuts to use in Windows that will save you time. Now, these do have a general practice slant on them, but don't worry if you're not in general practice. These will still save you time no matter what area you're working in, as long as you're using a Windows PC or laptop. Why would you want to use keyboard shortcuts? Well, using your mouse and using the normal interface and stuff can be effective. However, keyboard shortcuts basically allow you to do a lot of things quicker with the press of a button. And in particular, some things that you're doing repeatedly can be so much easier when you do it through this route. Most people know really common ones, things like copy, paste, all that kind of stuff, but these are gonna be ones that supercharge you to make sure that you can do things so much faster. We're gonna get straight into it right now. So no matter how many monitors you may have, sometimes you want to organize the windows you've got in Windows. So you've got one on one side, one on the other. And most people will use the mouse to kind of put them over, resize them, all that kind of stuff. And to be honest, that takes time. If you hold and drag an item to the top corner of one side, Windows kind of automatically does it for you. But again, you've got to use the mouse to do that. It'd be awesome if you could do it even quicker. Well, there are keyboard shortcuts that will help to make that process so much easier for you. Simply, you select the window you want, hold the Windows button and the arrow key to the left, and it will snap it to the left. Windows is pretty smart as well. It'll automatically then bring up all the other ones, so whichever one you want to put on the right, you can do that. Alternately, if you want to do top and bottom, you just use Windows and up and down. How easy is that? Let's take a look at it in action. So as you can see, I've got these two different windows. I've got the system one opening window and I've got a browser. I want to snap them so they're half and half. I simply select system one, press the windows key and left and that snaps system one to the left and then automatically it's giving me the options of which tab I want to put on the right hand side and I'm done. How easy is that? Next up, we've got a shortcut that not only makes your life quicker, but also more data secure. Many people working in practice obviously have to leave their desktop or devices. And when you do that, you should be logging out to the system you use. Now you can do control, alt and delete, and then click on the button to lock out. And you can do that. That's relatively quick and an easy way to do that. But wouldn't it be nice if there was an even smarter and quicker way of doing it? Well, there is. Now I can't show you this on the screen because it's going to log me out. But if I did, you simply press the Windows key and L for log out. And it does it just like that. For your IT leads in practice, if you stick up posters doing this, I'm sure it'll make CQC and all the other people really happy to remind your staff about it. And it's so easy to do. And then to log back in, control or delete and stick your password in. And it just makes life so much more data secure and quicker. So with my next tip, have you ever had the problem where you've got multiple windows open on your desktop or your laptop and you just want to get to that file that's on your desktop or go back to a clean screen just to make your life a little bit easier and you have to press minimize, 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 minimize to get through all the clutter that you've got. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a quick way of just getting straight to your desktop with no hassle? Well, there is. Simply put, press the Windows key and D for desktop and it will automatically take you straight to your desktop interface. It will clear all that clutter, and if you did want to reverse it, just press Windows and D, and it'll bring everything back up for you. How amazing and awesome was that? In fact, let's see it in action, shall we? Right here. So I'm just gonna press the Windows and D key now, and there you go. As you can see, nice and easy. And to bring it all back again, there we go. Now, if you're one of those people watching this video that have just done this right now, I challenge you to share this with your friends and colleagues and ask them if they did exactly that as well when they've been watching the video. It'd be cool to find out, wouldn't it? Okay, for my fourth tip with using Windows keyboard shortcuts, there's often times where you wanna snip a selection of your desktop for whatever reason that may be, whether that's copying results over, whether that's copying information, images, all that kind of stuff, making flow charts and that kind of thing for your practice. And it'd be nice if there was a quick way of bringing up the snipping toolkit in Windows, so you don't have to click, 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 click to get to it. Well, there is. 
The keyboard shortcut for this is the Windows, Shift and S key and doing that brings up the new version of Snip and Sketch within Windows. Now one thing to note in general practice, some places may have limited the functionality of this so it just brings up the window and lets you do the snipping. It doesn't let you do all the awesome stuff that that program can also do like edit, add annotations and save in various different formats and things as well. But not to worry, at least it does the basic stuff which is the snipping and we're going to show you what that looks like right now. So I'm just pressing the Windows, Shift and S key now and as you can see it's bring up the interface, I can select a portion to snip and it's done that for me and normally it bring up the interface so I can do some extra stuff with it and once it's open I can then select anything I want to do so for example I want to select that and put a colour on I can then draw away on top of that as much as I want to as you can see or I can do various other things now as I mentioned unfortunately some places they have limited it so you can just do the snipping that's a bit annoying but you can still do various things like for example select the type of area you want to use or you can just select the whole screen by doing that flash icon there as you can see and it selected the whole screen and then to be honest you can paste that wherever you want so for example if I was to stick this in document here I can do that right now let's go back to the video shall we okay so those shortcuts are cool now it's time for the ones that's really gonna make you think wow absolute wow so I'm pretty sure most people out there know the keyboard shortcuts for copy which is control and C and the keyboard shortcut for paste which is control and V but do you know that Windows has a copy clipboard in it? No? Well this is awesome basically this saves all the things that you've copied into a clipboard so then you can select which ones you want and don't want to use whenever you need to use them it does refresh when you close the computer down but you can pin certain items so that when you open up the computer with your login again they're there and available. Why is that useful? Well imagine you've got various email addresses or links or other kind of information that you need to use on a semi-regular basis that you often have to go off and find. By using this you can save them to your copy clipboard and then just select them when you need them. What's the shortcut for it? It's dead easy. Instead of control and V for paste it's Windows and V. Let's take a little look, shall we? So to have a look at my copy clipboard, I'm just gonna press Windows and V, and there you go. You can see all the various different things I've been copying since we've been going. And if you wanted to, I can clear them. And as you can see, I've got one that I've pinned already that is saved and available for me to use. Simply click on it, and I can stick that in just like that. And if I wanna add something else into the mix, I just simply select. Control and C to copy, open up my copy clipboard again. As you can see, that's now saved there. Select and pin, and there we go. Now, there are various pieces of software that allow you to do this across devices, but the reason why this one's really important is because it's on the Windows computer itself, it's more data secure. So it doesn't have that issue of saving information across patient data. And more importantly, it doesn't copy that data onto other servers. So for example, if you're doing things like NHS numbers, patient identifiable information, at least that's just on the computer itself. There is the mechanism to share that through your login, so it should track across to various other logins that you use and is still data secure. How amazing is that? If you're there sitting thinking, wow, make sure you leave a comment down below to let me know how important you think that particular shortcut is gonna be for you in your role. Now I did say I was gonna cover my top five, but you know what, I've got an extra bonus one for you right here. And if you have found this video useful, make sure you leave a like down below to let me know. And speaking of likes, that's what this shortcut is about. Because what if you want to stick an emoji into the program that you're using? Well, there's a quick shortcut that allows you to do that. Simply press the Windows button and full stop, and it brings up the emoji clipboard. Let's have a look, shall we? So I want to stick an emoji here, I'm going to press Windows and full stop and as you can see the emoji clipboard has just turned up and I can stick whatever emoji I want to. So rolling on the floor, thumbs up, give me a like, you know you want to. So that's my top five keyboard shortcuts in Windows that will guarantee to save you time in general practice or whatever field you are in. And if you found that useful, as I said, definitely leave me a like below. If you wanna check out some other time-saving videos, check out this link right here. Alternately, I'm sure YouTube's recommending another one for you right here. And as always, we're here to tech enhance your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.